Imagine being able to use the entire surface of the building you're in to collect solar energy, not just the roof tiles. Well, now you can, thanks to the ingenuity of a West Australian manufacturer. They come in all designs and colours, but these micro-printed panels can cover entire buildings, windows, balustrades and even fences. So, tell us a little bit about how these panels can be used, Professor. Okay, our products can be integrated into the envelopes of different types of buildings, including high-rises, telecom towers, uh, swimming pools, fences, uh, sound barriers, greenhouses, to create what we call a vertical solar farm so that buildings can become completely off-grid. They're called Building Integrated Photovoltaics, or BIPVs, and you may have already seen them without realising what they are. In Bibra Lake, this bottle shop uses the marble look BIPV walls to generate solar power. In a world pushing for carbon neutrality, AST says that as Australia's only BIPV manufacturer, it's able to blend renewable energy generation with architectural aesthetics, letting the walls do the work. We take commercial high-rise buildings and we can turn them into vertical solar farms. So they are completely off-grid. We can have them off-grid where they complete. Uh, there's no power required whatsoever. Further applications for us though, which are more, um, we're quite excited about, are for example, WA State's electric vehicle highway, uh, which is going from one end to the other, ultimately with 450 charging stations. But presently, all power stations are on the grid. Uh, our concept that we are talking with uh, state government about is to have an off-grid solar wall and featuring Aboriginal art for that region uh, and we can basically produce off-grid power for an electric vehicle charging station in the middle of nowhere. AST, which is already working with Nippon Steel in Japan, uses its patented nano-layered micro-pattern technology to create its BIPVs. The technology means that solar panelling on roofs can now look like actual roof tiles. Speaking to Middle Eastern governments at the t presently is for food security. We can create football sized greenhouses, football stadium sized greenhouses in the middle of the desert that are completely off grid and providing food security and for those nations. The footpaths themselves are non-slippery, non-skid. Uh, they can be located anywhere. They're shatterproof. Uh, they can work in warm climates as well as cold climates. In colder climates such as Canada, North America, uh, during winter, uh, the paths themselves will actually melt the snow, but they're also producing power uh, throughout the day. Uh, in, here in Australia, those paths can also be used in commercial buildings, surrounding commercial buildings, walkways, sidewalks. AST's micro-printed ceramic surfaces allow 80 to 95% sunlight transmission to optimize energy conversion. Excess electricity can be sold to the grid or stored for future use. With a high-rise building, um, 100 stories, and we're putting panels directly on all four portions of that building. Payback period is typically anywhere from four to seven years, depending on the type of panel utilized. The federal government here in Australia have just announced a billion dollar initiative to start producing solar panels. At presently, Australia only produces 1% of the number of solar panels that are utilized throughout Australia, something that we want to address ourselves. We will be, uh, future, we will be the only BIPV manufacturing plant here in Australia to meet domestic demand. AST says the global BIPV market is expected to quadruple in value by 2030. For more information, visit the website.